Okay, can can you hear everything now? Can you hear everything now? I'm a little I'm a little annoyed because I've been like going like that for like ten minutes. I've been going like that for like ten minutes, <laughs> but no one was here. Oh shit. Well, I I maybe it is because I restarted it. I don't know. Well, well. Anyway, thank you for the raid. Thank you for coming to hang out. We're working on this this kit of Ultraman Belial. We've got his torso and his head and his legs. Um, we're putting everything we're, we're putting everything together. Um, by the way, we are raising money for Gamers Outreach in their Spooktacular Streamathon 2022, and you can donate through Tiltify via the uh, QR code up here exclamation point donate or the donation link down below it is for the children it is to to bring entertainment and gaming to children and young adults in long-term hospital stays uh there you go you can you can do exclamation point donate and that will that that is the link right there and that will that that'll help out a lot also it is the only way to jump scare me with spooky scary skeletons now. Oh god, the other one is still there. Don't, don't, I, it's not supposed to do both. It's not supposed to do both. Don't donate to me. Use the Tiltify link. Only the Tiltify link. I don't know why the other one is still in there. I changed it. It's not supposed to do that. Emotional damage. It is. It's the Tiltify link is the one you should be using, not the stream elements tip link. Uh, so where are we? Th 13, 14. Okay, so it's this front piece, which is F1, 3. Ah, who threw that? I know who threw that. Uh, so this is F2. This is F3, which we're done with. F1. F2. Where's F1? Oh, it's this one. It's right here. Why are you bullying? Why are you bullying me? What did I do? Okay, so it's this... And this is like the most elaborate piece. Uh, so we do need this still. Oh god. Okay, so like the entire background of this is purple then the top part is is red and the border is red and then there's some silver bits uh but hi ha captain captain how was your stream what were you up to what were you doing what were you doing Something fun? Did you win? Won lots of races. Burnout 3. Nice. That sounds like you had a good time. Blew up a lot of cars. Damn. Is that good? Is that good or bad? Yes. <laughs> good answer. You, then you did the thing that you're supposed to do. Technically, property damage is supposed to be something I'm against, but... I don't know. 
I mean, as as giants of light, we do cause a lot of property damage unintentionally. We are involved in a lot of property damage. As long as the crime is gay, then it's fine. As long as the crimes are gay, then it's fine. They can't send you to jail for gay crimes. Oh, it's Gokaiger. When did the Gokaiger opening happen? I didn't even hear it. Okay, so what about the side? Okay, so the side piece is just these big areas of silver. That's true, you do like summon Gokaiger. Gokaiger just does, like, appear when you do. Let's go, Pida. So we're just, we're just painting this man's. The exciting kits uh, start next week. They're the big, like, Halloween customizations. Uh, I think tomorrow we're doing Kamen Rider Hideki. Um, we're gonna see how long that takes us. And then, uh... I'm anticipating that taking two days. And then, uh... If we need Sunday, we will do some of it on Sunday. And if we don't, we'll play Cult of the Lamb. Uh, I basically am using Cult of the Lamb to fill any spots that I don't have other content for. Because it's, it's a spooky Halloween-ish game, right? So I'm just, I'm using that to, to fill... Fill any space that I don't, uh, know what else to do with. The magic, the show time. my I'll just grab another one whoops making a mess on that side of the office It's okay, that bit's getting painted over anyway.
But yeah, I was given the reins today because this kit is Belial and I think he's kind of neat. And I just think he's kind of neat. So I have been given uh, all of the power today. But Mecom will be back tomorrow to do more Mecom things. But today it's all me. I hope you guys are okay with that. Yeah, well, I don't think there is a cooldown on that one. Hi, Chloe! Thank you so much! Thank you for stopping by! Uh, we are, we're about, probably like 60% six, through this kit. Thank you so much for, for contacting us and getting us involved. Uh, we're, we're really looking forward to, to everything we're doing this month with you guys. Uh, the, our big Halloween customization kits are probably gonna, uh, start next week. Uh, we've got Kamen Rider Hibigi tomorrow. We've got Belial today. And then I think SD Devil Gundam? Is the, uh, is the first Halloween customization we're doing. But thank you so much. I'm having a lot of fun working on this one. This one has a lot more details to paint than uh, the other ones in this line that I've done so far. Uh, so we... Uh, so we, especially this piece, this is like the most detailed piece on the whole kit. And it's, it's kind of awkward to paint because the, the bits are, are really like flat and not recessed a whole lot. So I'm trying not to, to make a big mistake with them. Uh, but all of this in the middle is also going to get painted. And then I think it goes here, and then maybe we attach the... Oh, we have some stuff with the... We have some other, some other like, cape pieces to do before we can uh, attach them together. But thankfully, these are, are very, very simple kits. Um, they actually come with stickers uh, to do instead of painting, but I prefer... Uh, I prefer painting them on myself instead of using stickers... Uh, especially because where I live, it's very humid, and the stickers fall off after a while. So if I paint it, I don't have to worry about that. And I think it just looks nicer. So we are just hanging out, we're having a good time. Uh, tomorrow's kit will be a little more involved as far as, uh the amount of pieces and putting it together, but, uh, thank you so, so much for dropping by, Clo. It has been so great being in contact with you. You made getting everything set up so incredibly easy. Everybody's here. Katten's here. Maru's here. We're all having a good time. Okay, so now... The bits in the middle. I should actually probably flip the sticker over so I have, like, reference for what pieces are supposed to be silver. Okay, so up there is all red. How do I get it lock on? It's been a while since I've done a model kit. I've missed, I've missed doing this. I still have the, uh, the Lupin SD Gundam kit to do, but I have to decide what I want to do with that, because I want to, I want to do some custom stuff with that, too. And I have not decided how I want to handle it yet. Okay. 
But I'm, lo I'm looking forward to Hibiki tomorrow because I've never done a figureized standard before. Um, I've done a figureized, but I've never done a figureized standard. Uh, so I'm curious to see, like, how that's different, how that is, uh, aside from scale, because I think they're smaller. I think a figure eyes standard is smaller than a normal figure eyes. And I'm just very curious to see how that comes to- some of these are purple? No. So I'm really curious to see how Hibiki is going to come together. Uh, especially because, like, the, the parts are, like, molded with a, a special pretty plastic. And, yeah, so they're, they're about figure arts scale. And I'm just, I'm curious. Um, because stuff at different scales tends to be kind of different with how it's put together and how different pieces, uh articulate and I'm very curious what the the differences are going to be like Well that job a good job Now I'm singing along to Go Busters I'm very very excited for the karaoke stream I'm nervous as heck I'm nervous as all heck about the karaoke stream But I'm also very excited. Uh, I was watching uh, Nino Kosaka doing uh, a karaoke stream the other day. And I was watching, I, was, I watched Nino Kosaka's the other day and I watched Ren Zoto's a day or two ago. And it was, it was just fun. They're fun to watch and they've got me like really hyped to, to do one. And I, I want, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are, I mean, y'all wanted it. Y'all are the reason it's happening. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. I forget what day that is. It's on the calendar that I posted. That's one of, ah, uh, maybe. Probably not, but probably not, but I do know what the set list is. And uh, I will only tell you if you donate. I will I will only give you hints. I will only give you hints for donations. Otherwise you'll have to wait. I probably won't sing though. It's gonna it's just gonna be me con. Oh no. That's okay. Okay, now the hard part. Doing doing this edging. Oh jeez. Okay, well, we'll see we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, I 
think tomorrow, tomorrow, Mecom will go over the the donation incentives that we've set up. We set up a couple of them. Uh, the first being at it's at three hundred, not five hundred. That uh, there will be a thank you note for all donors. Uh, five hundred is is something else that I don't remember at the moment. Um, but we'll go over those tomorrow in more detail. But at 300, you all get a thank you note, much like the uh, Donathon one. It'll have brand new art, and it'll be uh, a special message that all donators will, will get. I know one of them is, there is more voice redeems. Uh, I don't think that's 500, though. Maybe it is. One of them is that you can send us jump scares. That we will react to on stream, live, uh, at one point. Which is the only time that we will accept being jump scared. We are willing to be jump scared, uh, for the children. It's the only time you will ever get to send us jump scares, is if you reach that goal. Hi, Nanda! Yes, we are doing uh, Ultraman Belial Lubu Armor. Today, uh, we've got his torso, his leggies, his little head. We are doing a lot of spooky model kits for uh, spooky season. Today is Belial, tomorrow is Comrade Hibiki. Uh, because we decided that Oni are close enough. And then... Uh, next week we will be starting a special custom Halloween version of Devil Gundam, uh, SD Devil Gundam. We have a whole schedule up on Twitter of what our plans are. Oh jeez, I'm messing this up. Uh, I don't know. Are Zaku's, are Zaku's spooky? Is there anything spooky about Zaku's? There we go. That's fair. Um, we are doing Devil Gundam, SD Devil Gundam, specifically. Uh, Bezelmon. And Gundam the End. Uh, those are the the three big Halloween custom jobs that we're going to be doing. Uh, and then we're doing Belial. Uh, just just. Can y'all hear me? Did I have a dis? Is my disconnect issue becoming? A problem? Beelzemon. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So it was just the one that was really the problem. Beelzemon. Yes. Uh, so Beelzemon, I think, is the... No, we're doing SD, SD Devil Gundam first, then Beelzemon, and then Gundam the End is our, is our big finale kit. Our big spooky season finale is, uh, is Gundam the End. Because I'm anticipating that one taking the most work. Because uh, Beelzemon, I think, is going to mostly be a recolor. Is mostly just going to be recoloring. But we'll see. We'll see what I decide as I'm doing it. 
And uh, I will I will take suggestions from the chat for for decal application. Cause I have I have so many decals. I got so many decals for this. Okay, there's that piece complete. I kind of want to go over some of the retouch some of the silver bits and give them a second coat. But I'm afraid of messing them up. So I think I'm just going to put it on. Uh, there we go. So that just slots in like that. So we go from here to here. So this is H11. Okay, that's this. And where is this going? This goes in the back. This goes over his bum. Goes over his bum. Oh god, those are gonna take a little bit too. Uh, if we don't finish him today, we will finish him maybe Friday, uh, maybe Sunday, depending on how Hibiki turns out, but him and Hibiki will get finished this week. Uh, okay, so the other bit of this had a lot of black. The sides are going to have these big silver bits. So I think I should maybe use silver, actually. Still gotta put decals on your last two? That's fair. Decaling is, uh... I don't have a lot of interest in, in the standard Gundam decals. Um... Just, I mean, like, I, I get the appeal of them. I get why they're there, because they're, you know, they're heavy machinery. They're, they're military. Gundams are military vehicles, essentially. Um, but I like making stuff weird and funky. So here, I'll, I'll, I'll pull out the, uh, the decals we've got for the Halloween customs again. Let me pull these back out and pull these back out. Uh, so this is, this is the big pack of them. So we've got, uh, these are specifically for Gundam the End, but I may use some on Beelzemon. Uh, these are all nail art decals, but they work for this. Um, but I got these specifically for Gundam the End and Beelzemon, um, so that I could put these on, like, the, the big, like, side hands. On Gundam the end, but there's so many of them that I could probably put some on Beelzemon too. Uh, especially these like little skull butterflies, I think are really cool. And then there's some words that are like the word bone. Just the word bone over and over. I think that might be cool to put on Beelzemon, like like knuckle tats. This is the word bone. Oh, this doesn't want to close, right? Uh, so I've got this one that are these, like, little raised 3D bones. And, like, eyeballs and shit. I'm just gonna pop it open. It doesn't matter. Uh, so it's like, there's, there's, like, bones and eyeballs and, like, stitches and stuff. Those might be fun for, uh, Beelzemon. Dresden, please. <laughs> uh, 
We're, we're raising money for the children. Uh, I got these, which are nail stencils. Uh, these ones on top are the, the flames. Uh, but I got these to put on so we can do some, like, paint detailing. So there's, like, flames and, like, blood drippy and spider web and a pumpkin face. I don't know if we'll use the pumpkin face, but... Uh, and then I've got these, and I've got so many. Like, all of the rest of these are the same thing. It's just some of them are... I've got black ones, I've got uh, white ones, you can't see them because they're, it's white on white. Um, I've got these that are like rainbow hollow foil. Uh, there are like silver hollow foil ones. Uh, I've got gold ones. So we've got, we've got a ton of these. Um, and there, there's some different ones in here. So you can see it's like several, several different ones uh, in each color. So we're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do some fun stuff. We are gonna do some fun stuff with these. Sorry, I just tapped the mic a little bit. Uh, we are gonna be doing some fun stuff with those in the coming weeks. I also I forgot about these. I have. Uh, I got all of these, which are different little, like, rhinestone things. So I've got these little rhinestone... I don't know if you can see very well. Um, these little, like, rhinestone skulls and crosses and more skulls. Uh, pumpkins. Got some pumpkins. Uh, I think so, these are hands. I think these are like weird hands, so these might be good for Gundam in the end. Some spiders. Uh, so I've got all these like little silver rhinestone doodlies uh, to, to tack on there too. And then, you know, we have some normal rhinestones. We can, we're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to make these look hella cool. And here's a hot tip. If you guys get that goal up to a thousand, I will be raffling all three Halloween customs to, I think, 20 plus, like, $20 plus donors? But that's only if you get them to 1,000. If you don't, I get to keep them. So if you, if you like them, if you see them and you like them, as we're working on them, you might want to, uh, you might want to donate. If that's if that's incentive. If that's an incentive for you. I am hoping so, cuz I know y'all really went at it during uh the July anniversary donathon. So I'm hoping that y'all will, will also really come through for the for the kids now in October. Damn it. There we go. I'm trying to like get this at an angle that isn't weird. I think about making tacos for dinner. Kind of want a taco.
all we need is drive. So how are you guys doing? What, what's everyone up to tonight? What's everyone up to? I want to hear what your plans are. I want to hear your big plans for the rest of the week. Nice. I, I, I got all my stuff, uh, all, we got all our stuff worked out, and then, uh, hopefully, it will all continue to work. Getting prepped for Thanksgiving? Already? Or are you in Canada? Because I know in Canada, Thanksgiving is earlier. Because it's different there. Thanksgiving and the 4th of July are, are weird holidays for me because fundamentally, I don't like them. I don't like what they stand for. Um, but I love fireworks. Ah, Canada. Nice. But I love fireworks and I love cooking for family. And I love, like, big elaborate meals. So they become complicated holidays for me, in that I just really like making a big meal for my family. And I like going to the beach to watch fireworks. Okay, we gotta stick this on the bum. Wanna say, cause it will keep it so smooth. Yeah, I don't mind that so much. Um, you just, you know, if you can get a couple people to, to get it together and do it with you, uh, it's not so bad. I really like how this looks. Uh, okay, so 15, 16. We're on to these parts. We are on to these parts, which are gonna be pain because this this textured pattern I do like that they texture it in there though because they they know like some people are gonna paint this okay h1 done out of the way So, like, what do you... Looks like some of this is supposed to be black. This actually isn't as bad as what the one on Fuma was. I think the one on Fuma had, like, parts that were raised. That made it a little weird. Where this is just kind of a flat texture with the outline pressed in. So if you just go over it like you were doing like a pencil rubbing it just fills them all in and then they keep that little outline and i'm not gonna bother making that outline black because that's annoying you are so God, Tokyo has a good opening. 
God, I love Tokyo. This is one of my favorite Super Sentai songs. The Tokyo ending is so fucking good. I, I need to stop swearing! I'm trying. I'm trying really hard not to swear. I'm trying to be... Trying to be polite. But just... Just... The boom boom. Here it comes. I love that. It just, it brings me joy. It brings me joy. I know you, I know you love cooking for people, Cap. You and me, you and me, we just like, we like to cook for people. We like to, we like to give people food. There we go. I'm not, I'm, hold on, we're gonna look, we're gonna look at the, the box again. We're gonna pull the box over again. Cause here you can kind of see that it looks like there's supposed to be some black bits in there. But there's no other part of the box where we get a really good look at that part painted. Is there anywhere on here? Because I know there was some art on the front, but I don't know if that's painted or sticker. Okay, it is painted. Okay. Okay. Oops, I painted the wrong part. It's not supposed to be that bit. This is actually supposed to be like a way brighter red, like more like this, but... Oh, and I gotta do up here too. Like, it's just, it's just nice to, like, make a meal and sit down with people and, and be like, yo, how have you been? What have you been up to? What's going on with you? Like, I enjoy that. But, like, I'm also fundamentally against what the holiday was founded upon. Yeah, the, the thing about the, the Armor of Legends kits is that they are entry-grade kits. So they're very easy to assemble, like, if you just want to do a quick kit. If you're, like, brand new and just want a sense of how these work, um, they are very, very simple and come together to look really good. But you, if you want to, you really can elevate them by painting the parts instead of using stickers. And someone who is, like, better than me at sanding and painting and all of that, I imagine could, could make these look really amazing. Oh, 
like I enjoy painting these because I am a I am relatively new at this. So just having these kind of like big chunky pieces to to paint and detail uh, makes me feel very accomplished at the end. Like, it makes me feel very accomplished at the end, because it looks really good, even with my somewhat sloppy painting. Like, even, even with my- and, you know, I'm getting better. I'm getting better and better as I do these. Yeah, I do. I would. I don't have any stuff for top coats. Um, actually, I do have stuff for top coats. I definitely have a, a can of Mr. Super Clear somewhere. I think it's uh, under my desk with my airbrush stuff. But I have. I've not been. Uh, in a good position to be able to go out and spray things. I'm doing good. I'm I am winning. Look how look at look at how good all this looks. Look at how good all this looks. I'm definitely winning. I am absolutely winning. But yeah, you know, just when you you get a a good kit that these are just really nice practice kits for like marker painting. Because they're really easy to put together and you get these, like, big, chunky pieces to just color and make look good. I think I'm not going to bother making them the bright red, though. I think I'm just going to leave it this dark red. Because that would involve, if I had, like, if I was able to spray them, I think I would just spray it bright red first, and then, like, spray the front side the bright red, and then do these, this kind of detailing, but we don't have, we don't have the setup for that. And in the end, it still looks really nice. But yeah, we're not we're not customizing this one because this is just a a lineup of kits that I am doing anyway, and I'm just like, oh, Belial, Belial is is the scary the scary villain one, even though he's kind of cool, even though he's interesting and cool. Uh, so I just figured he would be a good starter kit for the month. Just a good okay, Gio. You take care. You have a good night. You have fun. You have you take care. Uh, but I just, I just thought he would be a good way to start off the month. You know, something simple, a nice little warm up after, after not having done any kits for a little while. Uh, no, not misunderstood. He's not misunderstood. He's, he's a problem. Was a problem. He's gone now, but no, he's, he's not misunderstood. He's uh. He was a butt. But, you know, like, he was still cool. Just not, like, good cool. Like, he was, he was a bad guy. 
You definitely not misunderstood. He's definitely, he's definitely actually scary. Like, I may, I may have a little crush on him, but I'm not gonna pretend that he was good, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, like, his, his son solved the problem. Oh, jeez. Like, his, his son took care of it. There we go. Okay. That side is done. I'm... I mean, maybe. Eagle, Chaku, Lion, Elephant, Tiger, Elephant, Coxie. I like how these are on, like, a swivel as though this is an articulated figure and these aren't just, like, slotted into the leg. Like, there is no need for these to be on, like, a ball swivel. Is Belly Owl even the marrying type? Like, I don't even know if that's a thing he'd be into at this point. At the point in which he is Belly Owl and not like just a, a dude. The point at which the point at which his face looks like this. Oh, they do kind of give him the mouth. They do give him the mouth a little bit. It's just hard to see because it's black plastic. Oh jeez. Uh, where's my... There's my cleaner. There we go. I'm making a mess with this black marker. Uh, phase is a very generous way of putting it. Uh, he got mad, and then he died mad about it. He got mad and stayed mad until he died mad. <laughs> And I don't know much about that phase where he was mad. I just know about the got mad part and the died mad part. I don't know much about the middle at the moment. I haven't watched any of that stuff. I haven't gotten there yet. But one day. One day that's some history that I will learn. He is pretty metal, to be honest. Except he's a dick. <laughs> well, 
Like, the problem is, the thing he got mad about is that he liked a lady and she ended up liking someone else. And then he got so mad that he turned into this. Yeah, absolutely. What what are the what are the things Is that the zero stuff? Yeah, that's me. Uh I also love to love him. Is it the zero stuff that he's in that he's cuz I know he's in some of that cuz the whole thing is him and zero. But I don't know, like, if there's more to that? Or if it's, like, just the Zero stuff. Okay, so it's it's the Zero stuff. Because I know, I know he's the main villain of Zero stuff, but I didn't know if it was, uh, also somewhere else. And that he just, you know, was, was put to be the villain of the Zero stuff, and then Zero got so popular that that was the most of it. Because I know Zero is is the dude. Everyone loves Zero. But yeah, I'm, I would- I would love to make my way through the- through the Zero stuff and then, uh, maybe go to Taiga? Part of me is- is hesitant to- to be like, let's- let's watch Taiga! Because there's no, uh, no legit way to watch Taiga yet, and I'm afraid that, like, the second I, we do that, they're gonna, like, announce that in, like, six months they're gonna do Taiga. It's just weird that Taiga is the only new generation Ultra that isn't available somewhere. Like, it's... That's it. He's the only one. Also, when is Shout Factory releasing Mabius? I know they said they were, and then we never heard anything about it ever again. Soon, okay. Because Mika wants to see Hikari. Which, like, I admit, not bad. Not exactly my type, but not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. If we need a little extra time today to finish Belly All, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're not- we're almost done, though. We're on 16? Oh! No, we're on the- we're just about done. Though I need to look at, uh, the weapon. His weapon. Okay, so it's- 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we're, we're, we're almost done. I do need to look at if we need to paint any of his weapon, though. Okay, Nyanja, you have a great rest of your day. Uh, it looks like maybe there's some blue on it? You have a great rest of your day. Thank you for coming and hanging out for a while. It was great having you here. I hope you stop by again.
Sorry, it seems like it's it's getting a little thin, so I was worried that some of the paint was like separating. Oh my god, I watched a YouTube video for like a fried shrimp taco and I kinda want I kinda wanna make a fried shrimp taco, but we don't have any shrimp. Okay, that's it for the black bits. There's the cap. Uh, so it's just the silver part in the middle. Sticker. Sticker. Shiru? Shiru? I'm trying to like read it, but my again my katakana is so bad. You'd think it wouldn't be with with me being in uh, the Diamond League tournament level of Duolingo, but my katakana is terrible. I'm so glad that I got first place in the Diamond League and I never have to think about that again. Uh, they, they've they got me caring a little bit about the tournament because I get a badge. I get a little, like, thing that I can use if I stay in it for three weeks. I don't have to place. I just have to stay in that bracket for three weeks. And I'm like, that's doable. Probably. And then I never have to care about my experience levels again and can focus more on new lessons. Because uh, you get more experience for practicing old lessons than you do, especially uh, ones that you've mastered, like uh, purple level. You get, you get more experience for those than new lessons, so I've been doing those to keep my experience up. And then... Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of new lessons. So once I have, you know, gone through the highest levels of the leaderboard and I never have to think about that again, I can focus more on new lessons and actually, like, learning. And then they're, like, changing the interface starting in November, and I'm like, how is this gonna work? I don't know if, I, if I'm gonna like the new way, but I also haven't seen it yet, so who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe it will make more sense to me. God, I love Cute Ranger. Okay, that piece done. So we pop this one on to here. Take the torso. Oh, they wanted me to put the head on the torso at some point. I didn't do that. Uh, there we go. There we go. Look at him. Look at him as belly all. Look at him. We're not we're not quite done yet, but we're almost there. Damn, he's he's really intricate. He is really intricate. Okay, so this is F412. 
even though the, it is it is piece 12 even though it is the only piece on this runner i don't know why it is labeled 12 but okay Trying to get that untangled. Ranger, Ranger, QQ Ranger. Okay, so this one, is this piece, F25. Thank you. Hi, yo. Like, look how freaking intricate he, there's like so much. We painted so much on him. Uh, and then we also need this other bit of his hand. Kintana, three, two, one, fuck you. Fuck you, Kintana, Kanata. And then this other side of his hand. We have now officially cut all of the pieces from the runners. I just need to see what details I am supposed to be giving. It looks like this is actually not supposed to, aside from these, these little bits on the edges having, there's like little, you can't really see them, but there's like little indents that look like they have blue. Now you can, so you can kind of see. So I guess we'll just do these real quick. Okay. Ultraman Belial, Lu Bu, one sitting. Feel like that bodes well for the rest of the week. We'll see, uh, we'll see how Hibiki goes tomorrow. But Hibiki is going to involve a lot less painting, I think. We can actually maybe open him up and just take a look. Once we, once we finish with Belial. Take a little, a little sneak peek. Sneak preview. of what we'll be doing tomorrow. It's a cute dancing, cute cute Cat hair. Okay, one more side. Oh, geez. Uh, there we go. And then, can oh, it looks like the bottom is also supposed to have, there's these little like you can kind of see like where those like dots of highlights i think those are also supposed to be blue or maybe between them i'm gonna do between them because i think that would just be easier to color doesn't look like the handle so it has anything so it's just
just these little bits of blue that are here for whatever reason. What the fuck? Who let you in here? The multicolored wiggle, thank you for the follow. Oh, my normal alert box is off. I don't know why it was like echoing either. Um, but thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm glad you're enjoying enough to, to drop a follow. Thank you so much. Okay, side three of five. We're almost there. There you will. Okay, all sides complete. Put his hand, put it in his hand. Uh, put his hand together. That is not lined up correctly. There we go. Uh, put this other piece onto here. Uh, I think it goes this way, actually. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go, Ultraman Belial Lubu Armor. Not as much stuff in the back, but it's fine. Look at this, we've got all of this gold in the chest, this whole intricate, like, detailing on the cape. Thank you, thank you, Wiggle. Um, I am really, really happy with how he came out. Oh my god, he looks great. I should probably be holding this a little further down. I am very, very pleased we have gotten him looking pretty good comparatively to the painted version on the guide. We've got him pretty much, I made, I took a few liberties. I, you know, these little knee pads, I made gold. Um, but I, I, th I think this on the back, these silver bits, I, there's nothing that shows me what those are supposed to look like. Um, but I am very, very pleased. I'm very pleased with how he came out. Oh my god, he looks so good. He looks so good! <laughs> I'm like blocking my tracker because I'm so excited. I want, I want y'all to just see him. Look at him! Look how friggin' cool this is! I love him! Oh my god worth it so worth it okay i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him over here i'm gonna put him there we go look he can i can hold his hand i can hold his his big gross hands okay i'm gonna i'm gonna grab hibiki and we're gonna take a peek we're gonna just take a peek this is what we're working on tomorrow and probably friday uh is is Kamen Rider Hibiki, figureized standard. So we're gonna take a little peek at what he's got going. Oh god, there's like clear bits. Okay, so there's his face. Oh, we've got some like flame effect, some flame effect parts here. Oh, they've, they've merged some different color runners. I didn't even realize those were all on the same runner. Uh, I've got, oh, holy shit, he's got a bunch of different hands. He's got so many different hands. Uh, 
else we may like we could probably paint the the big symbol um i may use the sticker for the the face the face texture why are there two of them just because that's like a really a i can't do a gradient like that oh man there's there's like a the plastic you can kind of see it on the camera the plat the the purple bits have this like iridescent shine to them that is gorgeous oh my god we may do some like panel lining on these purple bits but we ain't we ain't putting paint over that gorgeous plastic like you can really see it on the soles of the foot the light catches those in a way where you can really see it oh my god that is that is gorgeous let me take one out of the out of the, the plastic so you can really so you can see it better God, is Maru still here? Oh yeah, now you can really see it. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, this is Figure Eyes Standard Common Rider Hibiki. This is this this boy, our big boy here. Our big our big lad. Look at Cap. Look at this. That's gorgeous! Oh my god! And then, you know, you've got this this flat plastic for some stuff. Um, there's some clear bits here. I think this might mostly be a stand. I think this is mostly a stand. that you can see all the, the different poses that you can do with him. So yeah, it looks like there's there's not much that is gonna need to be painted. But we may do a little bit of panel lining on some stuff because that's, you can't fuck that up that much. But holy shit, I am, I am blown away by the body purple plastic. It's got kind of a weird texture to touch it, um, but it's gorgeous. Maru, Maru, look at look at the the iridescence of this plastic, the color. They used like a little bit of color shift pigment in this plastic. This is gorgeous. I am losing my mind over the the purple and this is like his body his his whole body because there's a whole nother runner of this is this just gorgeous dark purple that has this like teal blue shine uh so this is what we're working on tomorrow is gonna be mikan instead of me color guide uh for a more lifelike finish, refer to the color guide. Use water-based paint. Uh, color blending is shown for reference. Painting ABS plastic parts is not recommended as paint can damage the plastic. It's so pretty. Ah! I should have known that you owned this. I, I think I did know that you owned this. And was so overcome by the beauty of the plastic that I'm just like, oh my god, look. This is also, the box art is beautiful. Like, this is a beautiful illustration of Hibiki. Like, I'm trying not to get the, the shine of my lamp to, to obscure it, but this is a gorgeous illustration of Hibiki. I might, like, break down this box top and, like, get a frame this size so I can frame this art. Because I don't have Hibiki really represented that well in my collection of, of Kamen Rider stuff. Because there's not a lot of, you know, he it took him forever to get a figure arts that I don't own. Because um, I think by the time he got a figure arts, I wasn't working anymore. 
but it's it's gorgeous. And Belial came out really good. Look at him. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of this. It looks so good. I want more Hibiki stuff. It's just I didn't have money by the time that the Hibiki <laughs> figure arts came out. Ah, uh, he's got a little bit of waist swivel. You can kind of you can kind of wiggle him. Look at him, he wiggles. His his I think his head's got a little bit. Yeah, his head's got some a little bit of articulation. Uh, not so much his he's got some some wrist, but you know he's he's an entry grade. He's not he's. A stat he's essentially a statue that you put together. Um, but I am really pleased with how he came out. He was a lot of fun to paint. A lot of fun to, uh, to put together, uh, to detail. He was really fun to detail. You know, man, my... Actually, I kind of pop off this bit. I think I am going to take the actual black marker to this. I was a little afraid to, but I think I'm gonna. Because I think it just doesn't look quite right. I think it just doesn't look quite right. We're just gonna quickly go in and, and handle this, this little middle bit. Just to give it a more, because uh, I use the panel liner, you can you can see the difference of just like how how much the uh, the Posca is a a much thicker uh, thicker because it, it's acrylic paint, where the uh, the black panel liner I think is just like a thin ink. Because it's meant to kind of just, like, flow into some spaces. It's not meant to provide, like, wide coverage. Which is what I essentially used it for here. So we're just gonna... didn't it it sometimes it takes a minute uh i hope i didn't i hope i didn't screw the whole thing up i also didn't like did the notification go off did the notification go off because it i didn't like hear it am i gonna have to fix i'm gonna i may have to I know the first time I did it, it took a minute, but it should, there we go. Oh, is it a $1 one from, from me? Hold on. Hold on. I have to, I am going to, I am going to check this. I am going to check this real quick. Uh... No, just donated twenty five dollars and nothing went off. What? What? Oh no! Why didn't it go off? Why did nothing? Now I have to check stream elements. I have to check stream elements and make sure that this is on the right thing. Uh, dashboard. Streaming tools, my overlays. BRB 69. Save. 
This is so weird. It's showing it in... It's showing it in stream elements. Forty-three minutes ago? It's showing it in stream elements, but not here. Copy overlay URL. Refresh. Huh. Well, now it is. Um, I just want to test... Okay, I think that's because I had Firefox muted. Um, I'm gonna just have to make sure to refresh the the thing before stream. Um, I don't know why that didn't automatically do it. I'm a little I'm a little upset about that. Nyanja, I know you left, but thank you so much for the donation for the children. Thank you so much. Uh, we, this is, we, oh, I'm so happy with this. This came out so well. This came out so good. I'm so pleased with it. Uh, again, tomorrow we're going to be working on Hibiki. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming Hibiki is going to take us two days. I assume Hibiki is going to be tomorrow and Friday. Um, and then if, if he's not done, we will finish him on Sunday. An important lore question, you say. Oh, thank you, Mario. Even though I, I am not the one you flirt with. He's Mikan, but you can flirt with me too, I don't mind. Um, but what is what is the what is the lore? What is the question of the lore? So I just wanna like hold him. He's beautiful. That's okay. You can you can pop in and out. Um, you can just watch football and check the VOD later. You could be here Friday, because I'm going to be working on Friday, too. You can, you can flirt with the giant woman. Uh, if I were in Jeed, what power would my little star grant? That's a good question. That's a good question, because I'm, I'm not even really sure what all of my powers are. Aside from, like, you know, the basic shooting beams and stuff. Um... I was trapped in the atmosphere for a while. So maybe something about... Oh, I didn't color the, the... His wrist. We're not done. Ah, uh, that is a good question. Let's, let's think about that a little bit. Like, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember, like, what some of the other little star powers were beyond that one person who could shoot fire. I don't know, maybe, maybe controlling plants? I know because of, because of Mikan, I'm tied to plants. Uh, because I was photosynthesized. Good night, Maru. Thank you for coming and hanging out. I hope we see you for a bit for Hibiki. Whether it be tomorrow or Friday. Maybe, maybe it would be controlling plants. Like Poison Ivy style controlling plants. Because I did get photosynthesized. I did get photosynthesized. So maybe that's what it would be. That sounds like it makes sense. There we go. Like, that sounds like it makes sense to me. There we go. Yeah, controlling plants. I think if, 
if I were to give someone a little star in Jeed, uh, they would be able to control plants. There we go. Look at him. He came out so good. Okay, who? I need to look for... <gasps> Rem is on! We'll raid, we'll raid Remedy in a minute. Oh, I'm really pleased with this. I'm really looking forward to Hibiki. I'm really looking forward to Hibiki tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember to re refresh the, uh, sorry, I was holding, I was holding Peliel in front of, you could see that I was holding him, like, right here. Um, I'm gonna have to remember to refresh the overlays so that, uh, everything shows up properly. But, oh my goodness, thank you guys so much for coming today. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you for chilling with me while I did the most elaborate of of the uh, Armor of Legends kits so far. Uh, Zero was Teleport, Ken was Clairvoyance. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with Controlling Plants. That makes the most sense to me. That makes the most sense to me. I got photosynthesized. That's the most notable thing about me at the moment. But thank you all so much for coming to hang out. I'm really looking forward to Hibiki tomorrow. This is this has got me like really jazz. I mean, it's gonna be Mecon, but I'll be here. I'll be here. Um, the model swap redeems will be back on tomorrow. So you know, if you want to speak to me directly, you can. You will be able. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get me in trouble in the land of light. Um, but yeah, so if you, if you want to bully me about Belial more tomorrow, you will have to spend channel points to do it. Uh, that will, that will be all, everything aside from spooky, scary skeletons will be, will be back tomorrow. Uh, spooky, scary skeletons will remain a donation. But, uh, that will, that will be, that will be a tomorrow thing. For now, we are gonna, we're gonna raid Rem. I'm gonna put, Be I'm gonna put Belial to the side. And we are gonna raid. Uh, let's, let's see, let me, oh, let me, let me mute Firefox again so that I can pull this up. Uh, and what is she doing? Is she playing Project Zomboid? Okay, we are gonna raid Mama Remedy. I, we love y'all very, very much. Y'all be good. Y'all be nice. We'll be back tomorrow with Hibiki and raising more money for the kids. So I will see you then.